Hello my brothers and sisters in nerdiness, welcome back to the spider's web. In this video we're going to be painting this Dark Oath Savager from Games Workshop's Warcry, which is the Age of Sigma version of 40k's Necromunda, or so I understand. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be starting off with the red or skin for the flesh areas. And we're doing this so that the raised areas that are uppermost get the the skin tone, or just get this paint and get highlighted to make it look as though the light is coming from above rather than to one side or the other. Um, object source lighting has its place and for me that place is on display minis or if a character has some form of magic effects or a, a torch or something that would give um, a harsh amount of light on the in addition to what would normally be the if you get me drift you know I'm not a great fan of object source lighting other than for those reasons it looks odd when you're playing them on the tabletop um, so I'm assuming really it should just be like for certain things but I may be wrong I may be wrong so that's how we're doing all this on the flesh areas if if you uh, are interested to work out, or interested to find out how I did on the base coating, then uh, have a watch of the first video in this series um, where I go through everything step by step in much the same way as I'm doing here. Um, but it's a very simple process and you didn't actually have to do this bit. I'm just taking it that one step further because yeah, I can. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> that's that bit for then. Now we're going to be doing a little bit more, bringing in a new paint, leather brown. And this is going to be going on the trousers. And it's just, again, picking out the areas that are going to get hit by light. And if you're interested to find out how I work that out, I look at the mini from above. And parts that I can see the parts that get hit by light simple um, and I just make some areas up or some make it up as I go along as well sometimes um, just by just picking out fairly small areas like I'm doing in this one and that is having a good sneeze tonight so we're going to mix some of these two paints together the skin and the leather brown and we're going to do this we're going to apply this to the leather straps the belts and that's about it really all these leather areas we're going to have this i just want it to look a little different to the skin tone a little different to the trousers and um, it's a touch darker than the skin it's a touch paler than the trousers so it does give it an interesting effect Mummy robes next. This is a very, very pale grey. Um, incredibly pale grey. It's not quite white, but it's near enough to white that, I can, that I'm using it just to make it stand out a little bit more. And we're mixing some of the leather brown in to highlight the fur. Uh, the fur around the top of the trail of the boots. And then we'll also do the fur on one of his wrist guards, which is that one there. And we'll just highlight that and make it stand out just that little bit more. Give that a little bit more interest. Clean the brush and then go into just the mummy robes. And this time we're going to take off as much paint as we can. And then do not so much a dry brush, but okay, a heavy dry brush on some areas. Just no, it's not actually a dry brush. No, I would say it would be um, edge highlighting in this case, mixed with dry brushing. Um, get as much paint off as you can on the very long strands and then dry brush the rest. That's how I would pronounce, uh, describe it. Oak brown next. This is for the shaft of the spear. And squeeze some out on there. That's it and then apply it and it's not looking how i want it so i'm going to apply some of the 
brown and uh, white mix and a touch of that on the still not quite bright enough apply some white and quite like that green skin next and the green is going on the strapping that you can see around the um, spear shaft there is also some around the axe handle which I forgot about and completely missed in this part so we'll be coming back to that in a moment after we've gone back into the mummy robes and highlighted the bone areas he yes these bone areas they're already done in like a skeleton bone kind of color um, but we're just highlighting now making them look a little more interesting a little brighter so you can see them make them stand out that bit more now I've just realized that I've missed the green on the axe handle and I've mixed, missed the camera view, view area. Now we'll change to the CD palette because glitter green is one of the metallic colours that the Emmy Painter sent me to review and try out. And as you know, I've already done the unboxing for it, I've done the review for it, but I've decided to keep putting this Emmy Painter logo up whenever I use these minis because. They sent it to me free of charge. It's only fur that I keep promoting. <laughs> I do like these minis, uh, these paints. Now, I was going to just do um, the green over the black. I thought it's just, just a little different than how I usually do it. But looking at it, I wasn't too f impressed with how it looked. So, Royal Purple is making an appearance. And this is going to go over the shadowed areas of this where the sun hasn't or the light hasn't quite hit anything that is in shade will uh, get hit by this so i get like a shadow color and it just makes it a little more interesting to look at i think i'm not quite sure whether you'd agree but i like the look of it i just hope andy does when i give him back <laughs> But uh, before we carry on, I'll be putting still photographs up of these of this mini at the end of this video, so you'll see exactly how he how he looks now that he's finished. If you'd like to help out the channel, you can like and subscribe to the to the channel. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel or tickle my bell so you get notified of any future videos. Um, all this will help in some way. I could always use Patreon or buy me a coffee. There's a difference, um, what you call it there, to uh, different levels there to donate to help the channel financially. Now I'm going into a different paint colour uh, to highlight the skin a lot more. Um, Jasper skin, I think this one is. And it's just to give that much a little bit more of a highlight to it. It's just slightly paler than the Dorado skin we started off with. And that is about it, I think. There's not much more to do on this. I'm not doing the base in this one. Now this Garnet Pigment Toner I'm using to go over any areas of skin that is like fairly thin. I've noticed scars. I'm using doing this on his mouth and his lips. I'm also doing this on his elbows as well. And I think, if I remember right there, I put this in the shadow areas um, just to make it a little darker. And that's what I'm using that for. Very simple. But that's about it from this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, there's still, video, there are still photos of this mini at the end of this video. I'm not basing it as yet. I'm going to do on the basing later on in a separate video or videos. So you'll see what I do there. But as I said, that's all for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.